Datevi il cuore. Ma l'uno non si è in custodia dell'altro. Amatevi reciprocamente, ma non fate dell'amore un laccio. Lasciate piuttosto che vi sia un mare in moto tra le sponde delle vostre anime. Riempa ognuno la coppa dell'altro, ma non bevete da una sola. Cantate e danzate e siate gioiosi insieme, ma che ognuno di voi resti solo, poiché le colonne del tempio restano tra loro distanti e la quercia e il cipresso non crescono l'una all'ombra dell'altro. We met on one of the classier online dating websites. It was not Tinder, but it was not that much better. <laughs> so I set up a profile. When I say I set up a profile, I put on two pictures and then didn't write anything. Then got this message from Maddie. He doesn't believe me, but he is the only person that I messaged. Quite quickly, we went on a date. And the date was a burlesque restaurant, so it was, it was all or nothing for me. Got drinking, we had a good time. Funnily enough, that night I was chancing it with the train journey and I knew when my last train was and I waited and waited and waited and then I said to her, I'm going to miss my train, can I stay at yours? And she said no. I sort of said to girlfriends, like, yeah, I had a really, really nice night. Tried to stay at my house. Like, it's the first guy on the first day who tried to stay with me. We're like, oh my God, that's so out of order. And I remember sort of a few weeks later speaking to his best friend and I said it and they were obviously all taking the mic and Rick was like, yeah, but he would have just slept on the sofa. Like, he's a good guy. From that point on, we've been on a journey that I could never imagine. Maddie then gained the opportunity to work in Omar. And we thought, why not? What do we have to lose? We packed our stuff, 21 boxes in total. We're sitting in the airport with the strangest feeling. It's a feeling of leaving somewhere, not knowing when you're going to return. We just looked at each other and cried. Maddie a lot, me only a little bit. He is literally the best man. Um, I didn't think that I would meet somebody as together and as caring and as selfless. He puts everybody else first, whether it's his family, our bloody dogs, me, and then now, yeah, we're looking at actual parenthood. <laughs> um, bit of a surprise. He's given me confidence to live life a bit more for where we are now and not stress about what's going to happen in the future. And I just feel really ready to, yeah, to get married and have the best day. The time has passed by much too quickly again. Maddie's always been one to lead rather than follow, and anyone willing to share their life with her would have to be a bit special. You were, and you still are, the most stubborn, determined and focused woman that we have ever met. At this point, though, we did truly think that she was going to die alone. <laughs> She went on bad date after bad date until she'd had just about enough and using her legal background, she did the only thing that she could do, write a contract with herself about the kind of men that she would be dating. Let's see if Sam actually fits some of these qualities. So number one was they have to be good looking. Has he got a nice personality? This one is has good throwdown. Well, you are pregnant, so he can't be that bad. Sam confessed to me that he really didn't know how it had happened. I said, I bloody hope he did. The time has come to stand side by side. Sam in his glory, Maddie his beautiful bride. 
They've waited so long for this moment in time to take their vows and say, will you be mine? The bond that you have shows the world that you care, not just for yourselves, but for the family you share. This special time is just for you, a time to remember when you've said, I do. It didn't take me long to find out what Sam saw in her. Maddie's intelligent, beautiful, sophisticated, kind, empathetic, and has a lot of time for people. Maddie, you look absolutely bellissima today. I, Sam O'Neill. I, Madeline Power. Take you, Madeline Power, to be my wife. Take you, Samuel O'Neill, to be my husband. I take you to be my best friend. My faithful, my faithful partner, partner. And the mother of our child. And the father of our child. I promise to encourage you and to inspire you. And to love you truly. Through night feeds, nappy changes. Most of which you'll do. <laughs> I will forever be there to laugh with you. To lift you up when you are down. And to love you unconditionally. Through our, our next adventure and together. together. In the, In the presence, presence of, of our family, family friends, friends. And a child. They say you don't marry someone you can live with, you marry the person that you can't live without, and that sums Maddie up to me perfectly. Suffice to say, Maddie, I love you so much and I can't wait to grow with you. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in my final toast and raise your glasses to my wife. And